I see Hush done improved that position on that like button. I like that. Berg, your house better not be dirty like that.
Just ask them how I did it. I got out the limo, grabbed the hand, went upstairs and fucked her. Swallowed up. Have you gone through a time of swallowing? I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name. Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain. I ingest, I retain, assess and I change. Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints. Money, clout and fame, mud disease, a plague. We all love to hate, have to play the game, have to make a name. All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy. Think that it was meant to be. Living in a time where disease is on every screen. I won't let them fester me. I know most are festering. Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak. No mercy. God is working, never stop searching, never quench the thirsty. I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic, you can't stop it. It's been chronic since I was a boy, so neurotic and chaotic. Go! Oh. Uh, 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 Keith, if you break like glass, then this life is gold. Eat you! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Enjoy the view, Keith. Late night grow. The fuck is going on, man? <laughs> It's Taco Tuesday, and I ain't getting no tacos, so I'm honored. But God is great, nevertheless. I got to go back to the dentist tomorrow morning and get my mouth drilled in again. Well, I didn't even get it drilled in today, but it won't oh, sorry. Don't back tomorrow, I don't give a fuck. Built to last. Say what's up to your boy. Sylvia Chadrick, the motherfucking goat is in the building. What's wrong with Angela? Hear him. Just me, babe. Sparky. S, we in the building. Kevin, what up? Mariah, Anita, Carla, Jerry. Fuck the Sacramento Kings, you bitch made ass, whole ass niggas. That's why the Thunder gonna beat the brakes off you hard. Nigga, y'all gonna fuck around and lose to Zion. Y'all better hope Zion don't play bitch ass niggas. Fuck Mike Bibby. Fuck Rick Adelman. Fuck Chris Weber. Vladdy Divots. Doug Christie. Mitch Richmond. Fuck all of them niggas, bro. Every last one of them niggas. Fuck them niggas. Fuck Bobby Jackson. Fuck every King season ticket holder. I'm petty. Gus misses Mr. Gus. Nigga, fuck the popcorn man. Fuck the beer man. Fuck they mascot, nigga. Fuck all oh, fuck the mana Sabonis. Fuck Arvita Sabonis, nigga. Jason Williams, fuck that nigga. Lawrence, uh, Lawrence Thunderbird, fuck that nigga. Oh, Keith Freeman, you laughing? Oh, it's funny to you, Keith. It's funny the Warriors lost. I got all right. I got some few then. Since you, since you want to run your fucking mouth like the shit all G, nigga. It, the shit ain't G. The shit ain't sweet. Cause you wanna run your fucking mouth, nigga. Fuck the Oracle. Fuck Gold One Center, nigga. Shut your mouth, Keith. <laughs> what they say, Mia? <laughs> Talking about no limit selling all over the world. They got all over the country. CIA, the Fed, all of them. Tap our phone.
Keith, I'm not this petty. Wait, Keith. Me. Shay. The nigga y'all love to hate. What you about to tell me right now is I am not so petty enough to play this motherfucking song and bob the fuck out to it because nigga, didn't I tell your black ass just last motherfucking night that these niggas was on your motherfucking ass? Didn't I tell your motherfucking, didn't, didn't I just, I just told you last night. Bop it. <laughs> what they say, Mia? Drug <laughs> Talking about no limits selling dope. All over the they got keys all over the country. CIA, and Fed, all of them. Tap our phones, harassing us. Fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. But guess what? We'll probably indict your black ass. They coming for Tiffany and Andrew Holmes next. Them niggas getting fed that fed time. So now they won't have to worry. Uh, they call us drug dealers. What about the police? Just the other day, my little homie stole a quarter key from the bag. My phone tap, nigga, when the phone, the homie got kidnapped. Now the game is crazy, sometimes it's hectic. Make me want to jump in the bins and ride up to Texas. Involved with the niggas in the country. It's 1997, I'm trying to have hundreds. Stack hiding buildings, flipping into millions. Rolling in the zillion of ghetto children. Flushed out Lexus, nigga playing taxes. Dancing with a Ferrari, but the game is still hectic. Niggas partners turning snitches, money hungry fidgets. The day family said FBI, we call all them robocop bitches got me stressing, smoking weed to keep my nerves calm, and I'm living in this rap game like El Capone. Keith, what would the feds do if I told them what you did last week, nigga? <laughs> hey, nigga, but you need to come on downtown, nigga, before they kicking that dough, nigga.
text her back and tell her, hurry. Oh. This that category five. When I walk up in the strip club, going high, make you and George wash the head. But OG's never fed us. Now young niggas fed up. Balling so hard. I deserve an end okay. one. Make it so the market, then I'm getting it. Ain't no obviously. You a bitch, you a hoe. That's just my philosophy. Yeah. And I'm known to kick it like the captain. I'm actually ready to go to work, but I got to play this for Tiffany one time. I got to play this for Tiffany one time, bro. Tiffany got to hear, you got to, uh, you got to play this for Tiffany one time, Keith. Or, or actually, Tiffany got to play this for you one time, nigga. I have to. Because, nigga, this shit about, to, this going to be a long road for you, nigga. Tiffany, go ahead. Help that nigga stay solid, nigga, because this shit about to be a long one, nigga. I'm about to read this whole fucking indictment, nigga. <laughs> yeah. 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 This is the part of motherfucker. Yeah. And in my building, I must keep it real. And man, I miss the times we would shine. You would keep me on your side. You would teach me how to ride, and you would teach me how to then we get on the line and go over our lines We were in the same position and that's when you change position Shit, I never change and I miss you And it's strange but I never forget you Though that ain't you and them bitches on me And I know that ain't you with that dissing on me That's why I never replied and never will Just let them live phony If you ever died, I swear to God I got your kids on me What's mine is theirs, I got a gift on me And yeah, we still are on me and this bitch on me Yeah, cash money still a shit on me Shit, homie, what's really real is you feeling me, nigga, that hot boy shit, still in me, nigga, word the giggity, nigga, and I ain't got time to speak the history, I miss you and I know you missing me, chisel, but then I miss my dog, yeah, midnight, yeah. 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 Man, I miss my soul. Yeah. Me and you, you thinking, yeah. me and you to the very yeah. end, but only you, I'm saying yeah. 
And I remember when you came to the click, I had already made my name in the click. What you got famous and shit, I got my soldier back and dang for my shit. I was honored just to hang with you shit. And I bang to the boogie bang bang with your click. And I ain't even from the three, my hood was angry at me. Shit. But I rose to my feet, played the post with the heat at them shows while you performed and posed. I was waiting for a nigga to jump. See, I was patient but was ready to dump. Cause you my brother, jump. Real G's never buckle up. But every family ain't filled with gangsters. That's real. And that's real. And I would never turn my back or turn you down. Even if you turn around, motherfucker. But history is history. I miss you and I know you missing me. Juve. But then I miss my dog. Yeah. In a nice club hop. Yeah. In a nice you were blowing you. Yeah. In a nice you were hustling. Yeah. And I miss my dog. Yeah. Me and you through thick and yeah. Me and you to the very end. Yeah. Only you I was in the yeah. And I miss my dog. Yeah. In a nice club hop. Yeah. In a nice you were blowing you. Yeah. In a nice you were hustling. And I miss my dog. Yeah. Me and you through thick and yeah. Me and you to the very end. Yeah. Only you I was in the end. Yeah. You was. My nigga, my nerd, my joy, my hurt, my main motherfucking man, turk. Oh. My other, my partner, I was teaching, he was father, I still de school. We chill, we move, we dug, we hung, we ate, we slept, we lived, we died, I stayed, you left. Remember how we played to the left and we stayed out of trouble cause we stayed to ourselves. Remember Slim and B were leaving, hand the keys over, tell me not to go uptown and we went straight to the no, yeah. While I watch you reunite with your soldiers and your moms and brother while I lied to the stunner. Yeah, those were the times, my brother. Now I recognize real and now I'm my brother. Yeah, nigga, surmise my brother, disguise my brother, the nigga you left behind is my brother. In the night club, high beam, in the night club, blowing tree, in the night club, hustling, man, I miss my soul. Me and you, you think it, damn, me and you, to the very end, for only you, I was in the game, I miss my soul. In the night club, high beam, in the night club, blowing tree, in the night club, hustling, man, I miss my soul. Me and you, you think it, damn, me and you, to the very end, for only you, I was in the game. You going to prison, nigga. Late night crew. Somebody going to jail, nigga. Somebody going. Everybody ain't going home, nigga. Every gangster got to lay down, nigga. <laughs> Every gangster has to lay down. One way or another. Steve Freeman. Um. I want you to listen to me very carefully because I know you're probably watching. Peep game, bro. Um, I'm not going to make life worse for you. But if y'all make life worse for me, then I will respond in kind. I will tell the FBI how you violated my First Amendment rights last week. You feel me? So you're going to sit there like a good boy and take this ass whooping. You figure deal me? Are we on the same page? Even as a crack fiend, Keith, you always was a black king, Keith. Yeah, I, well, I ain't going to say you smoke crack. You were just looking very crack-ish. The United States of America versus Keith Douglas Freeman. You want to hear something? You don't ever want to be in a one-on-one -on -one against the against the United States of America, nigga. This is of all the fades you want to catch in your life. This is not one of them. <laughs> like that's the end of it for me. The, the moment you see paperwork, what well, uh, what's up, Burgundy Blue commentary? I'd like to officially welcome everybody to the Keith Freeman paperwork party. Jackie, what's up? Get y'all snacks together because we about to read all the dumbass shit. That he is alleged to have done. <laughs> Diggity, what up? <laughs> Kurt, what's happening? Tiffany. He telling me. 
I don't even want to read this shit, bro. But I'm gonna read it. <laughs> Ooh, Key, bro, Key, yo, you, you, you start feeling good for a minute. Uh, Shay doesn't believe in skimming. That's how you miss shit. Y'all niggas are so lazy. I mean, you can just go find the indictment and then just have AI read it to you. But over here, we got unrivaled coverage to do the unrivaled research. Because I got a motherfucking unrivaled squad. Shout out to the kid, J. Bon Barksdale. Yeah, man. The special November 2023 grand jury charges at times material to this indictment. Relevant individuals, entities, and accounts defendant Keith Douglas Freeman resided in Orland Park, Illinois. Freeman generated income from various sources, including the following from an in and or, or around January, 2022 through in and or through in or around April, 2024, two years of crime nigga, get fed crime. Freeman was the village administrator of the village of Dalton with an annual salary of approximately a hundred thousand dollars. You are a fucking idiot from in or around March 2022 through in or around April 2024. Freeman was the municipality, a.k.a. municipality manager of Thornton Township with an annual salary of approximately $70,000. So let's stop right there, Keith. You claimed $170,000 on your taxes, right? From in or around November 2017 through in or around 2000, April 2021, Freeman was the village administrator of the village of Robbins with his salary set by village ordinance. And from at least in or around December 21st or December 2021 through in or around January 2022, Freeman received approximately $24,500 in consulting fees from a business located in Northfield, Illinois, that financed the lease purchase of firefighting and other equipment by municipalities and government or governmental organizations. Uh oh, nigga, let's stop right there. What was one of the first motherfucking things Tiffany did when she got in office? Didn't they get like a new new fire trucks? Didn't they get like a whole new fire department? Didn't they get engine house number two? Am I am I am I wrong? Didn't they get engine house number two? Nigga, Keith, you had some... Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, Keith, we ain't even gotten into it yet, nigga. It is already more crime. Uh-oh. For those that don't know, like, right when uh, Tiffany became mayor, nigga, they ended up getting a whole nother fire engine, a fire department and shit. Oh, uh, brother. Della. Della. Della know what I'm talking about. Della, hey, the and Bird probably know what I'm talking about too. When she became when she became mayor, they got like a brand new fire station. So I guarantee, whatever shit they used was his shit. Wherever his shit could have been used, they used his shit. Oh. No. Freeman was affiliated with multiple companies, including the following. Freeman was the sole owner of the of government staffing advisors, which he incorporated on or about July 12, 2023. So you out here, you just made this shit last summer. <sighs> So they so they reopened it. And they got all new equipment. See what I'm saying, Bird? Guarantee he got a cut out of that. Guarantee he got a cut out of that. Oh, you know he got a commission. He just so happened to be a part of some shit that got that shit. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Oh, he getting ready to go sit down. That's a oh yeah, he getting ready to go sit down. <laughs> Keith, you about to go sit down, nigga. You better, you better got some, you better have some good stories, nigga, because you getting ready to go sit down. 
Freeman was owner of Keith Freeman. Dude, dude as novelty store. Wait. Ain't do that. Hasn't new do that's novelty store been on the motherfucking warrant list? <laughs> Wait, has it do that's been on the warrant? Am I did, did I make that up? I know it's a couple people in here that that, that really verse in that. Do that is a company that's been on that fucking warrant list, or did I just did I just make that up? Oh, I hope somebody know. Freeman was an officer. Yep, that's the place that made them shirts. His wife. Oh, they got it in the indictment, nigga. When your wife made them shirts, nigga. Oh, no. 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 Niggas is going to prison. What did they make the shirts for? (laughs) This is what. Watch. What did they make the shirts for? What were the shirts made for? What were the shirts? Does anybody remember what the fucking shirts were made for? Thank you, Della. That's the oh no. So there we go. Another crime. Oh. Oh. It was Tiffany. It was Tiffany's. It was the cancer walk. They made the shirts. I remember when I read about it, I was like, damn, y'all just corrupt like this. <laughs> oh, shit. So now all this shit is weaving together, Keith. Now you now that cancer shit get oh <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> the blatant corruption has caught up to niggas. <laughs> Wee. Your wife is named in the indictment, nigga. And I love how they put Freeman in bold to let you know that shit's coming shortly to an end. Freeman had control and signature authority over multiple bank accounts, including the following. Freeman was the sole account holder and signatory of J.P. Morgan Chase account number 8642. Freeman was the sole account holder and signatory of Bank of Montreal. Oh, BMO. This nigga, nigga, pull up to Kroger's and empty the ATM. <laughs> pull up the BOA, empty the eight nigga, all this swiping them, call up, nigga. And Freeman controlled what was the sole and was the sole administrator of the Coastal Community Bank, nigga. That's a trap card, nigga. Hold on. <laughs> What is Coastal Community Bank, nigga? That sound like, nigga, you got, that's a Dollar General card, nigga. Hold on, nigga. <laughs> he going to prison. They now offering small business classes. Why didn't you take these small business classes they were offering, you stupid son of a bitch? Nigga, you so stupid. Why did you not take these motherfucking small business classes? Yeah, this this nigga got a green dot card he be trapping off of, nigga. Critical was had it. Oh my goodness, he bro. And open the account in the name of government staffing advisors. Chapter seven of Title Eleven, United States Code provided individuals who were unable to pay their debts with an opportunity to obtain a fresh financial start through the discharge of pre-existing debts. In order to initiate a Chapter Seven bankruptcy case, an individual known as the debtor was required to file a bankruptcy petition with the United States Bankruptcy Court. The filing of a Chapter Seven bankruptcy petition automatically stayed collection activity by creditors against the debtor. So we going into this right, but before we go all the way down this. Remember when I was telling y'all earlier that I wasn't saying that this is a small crime as in he could get some probation walk away. I'm saying that of the shit they getting ready to charge him with, I told you they walked in with a stack. They like, nigga, we know your wife made them shirts for that cancer shit that you had your name on. And we know this. And we saw these three bank accounts, nigga. Ain't no telling what's happened in them actual bank accounts. London Bridge comes crashing down. 
In addition to the bankruptcy petition, a debtor was required to file certain documents with the United States Bankruptcy Court that detailed the debtor's financial condition, known as schedules and a statement of financial affairs. With respect to the schedules, the debtor was required to disclose his current financial circumstances and sign a statement under penalty of perjury that the schedules were true and correct before filing them with the United States Bankruptcy Court. The information the debtor was required to provide in the schedules included the following. Schedule AB required the debtor to disclose deposits of money in financial accounts. Schedule EF required the debtor to disclose unsecured creditors. Schedule uh, Schedule I required the debtor to disclose the uh, disclose both the debtor's employment and self-employment status, occupation, and monthly income. With respect to the state of financial uh, statement of financial affairs, the debtor was required to disclose his financial history, including his employment, income from employment, and income from operation of a business or any other source in the year of filing, and for the immediate two prior calendar years and whether he was an officer of a corporation. As with the schedules, the debtor was required to sign a statement under penalty of perjury that the statement of financial affairs was true and correct before filing it with the United States Bankruptcy Court. The United States trustee was responsible for ensuring the, in, the integrity of the bankruptcy system and for promoting compliance with the bankruptcy laws and rules applicable to bankruptcy proceedings to this end, the United States trustee appointed and oversaw the activities of a trustee who was responsible for administering individual chapter seven bankruptcy cases for the benefit of the debtors creditors. The information provided in schedules and the statement of financial affairs was material to a determination by the United States trustee, the chapter seven trustee and creditors, whether based on the debtors income, the debtor have properly filed a chapter seven bankruptcy petition whether the debtor has disclosed assets consistent with his income and whether the United States trustee chapter seven trustee or creditors should object to the discharge of his debts or move to dismiss the bankruptcy case. A debtor was required to appear at a meeting of creditors known as a three, four, one meeting and to testify under oath concerning his financial affairs prior to the three, four, one meeting, a debtor was required to provide the chapter seven trustee with a copy of the debtor's federal income tax return filed with the Internal Revenue Service for the most recent tax year prior to the commencement of the case. Beginning in or on around July two, 2023 and continuing until in or around April 2024 at Chicago and Orland Park in the Northern District of Illinois, Eastern Division and elsewhere, Keith Douglas Freeman defended herein devised and intended to devise a scheme to defraud and for the purpose of executing and concealing the scheme and attempting to do so filed and caused to be filed documents in a bankruptcy case under title 11 of the United States code. Uh Oh, nigga. It was part of the scheme for purposes of fraudulently staying debt collection, uh, state debt collection actions and fraudulently obtaining a discharge of his debts. Freeman attempted to and did defraud his creditors and the Chapter 7 trustee by taking steps to conceal his assets and sources of income prior to filing a bankruptcy petition and by then filing a bankruptcy petition and making false statements and providing false documents during the course of the bankruptcy case that were designed and intended to conceal Freeman's actual financial circumstances and history, conceal whether Freeman had to disclose assets consistent with his income, fraudulently prevent creditors and the chapter seven trustee from determining whether Freeman had properly filed for chapter seven bankruptcy protection and fraudulently prevent creditors and the chapter seven trustee from objecting to the discharge of Freeman's debts or moving to dismiss the bankruptcy case. It was further part of the scheme that on or about July 12, 2023 Freeman created government staffing advisors Inc and on or about July 23rd, 2023, opened a bank account with Coastal Community Bank ending in number 8335 in the name of Government Staffing Advisors. It was further part of the scheme that beginning in or around July 2023 for the purpose of concealing his income and personal financial transactions from his creditors, Freeman stopped using BMO account 5818 in Freeman's name and transitioned his banking activity to Coastal Community Banking Account 8335 in the name of Government Staffing Advisors. It was further part of the scheme that on or about July or January 3rd, 2024, 
Freeman filed a bankruptcy petition in the United States Bankruptcy Court for the Northern District of Illinois, thereby initiating a Chapter 7 bankruptcy case captioned in re Keith Douglas Freeman number 24-00059, the Freeman bankruptcy case. <laughs> <laughs> Every gangster gotta go sit down, nigga. You get ready. <laughs> you get <laughs> you get ready to go sit down for a little second, chief. You's getting ready to go sit down for a hot second. It was further part of the scheme that on or about January 3rd, 2024, Freeman filed in the Freeman bankruptcy case his schedules and a statement of financial affairs signed under penalty of perjury that contained material false statements and material omissions. It was further part of the scheme that on or about January 3rd, 2024, Freeman filed a schedule AB in the Freeman bankruptcy case disclosing total assets of approximately $5,250. <laughs> I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. This nigga tried to lie on his fucking taxes while they were already under the microscope. He, they've been under the microscope for about two years now. This nigga's so stupid. The Schedule AB was false and fraudulent in that in response to question 17, deposits of money which required Freeman to identify financial accounts Freeman falsely represented that he had a single checking account at BMO Bank when, in truth, Freeman knew that he was using then using the Coastal Community Bank account number 8335 in the name of Government Staffing Advisors, Inc. as a personal account, including depositing money into this account that he earned as a as municipality manager, a.k.a. municipality manager of Thornton Township. It was further part of the scheme that on or about January 3rd, 2024, Freeman filed a Schedule EF in the Freeman bankruptcy case disclosing the total debts of That was false and fraudulent in that Freeman, knowing that the village of Robbins had a claim against Freeman for unauthorized payments, did not list the village of Robbins as an unsecured creditor, which deprived the village of Robbins of notice of and the opportunity to timely participate in the Freeman bankruptcy case. Man, so you tied up into some shit with some shit you did before you even got here. Oh, bro. This is why he definitely tell him. He got other skeletons that ain't got nothing to do with Tiffany. Stupid. Freeman falsely reported that his only employment was as municipality manager of Thornton Township when he knew that he was also the village administrator of the village of Dalton. Everybody knew that, nigga. You lied on your taxes about some shit everybody knew. Freeman falsely re represented that his monthly income was approximately $7,167 when he then knew that his monthly income as both the municipality manager and of Thornton Township and the village administrator of the village of Dalton was approximately $15,000. No, Rick is so Yo, wild has idiot. went so far off the, the meter. It's shit that I can't even tell, talk, tell you on TV. I mean, you know, like, for the sake of our friendship, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not even gonna bring it up, but trust me, he's went there. He 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 has went where it's like, yo, Rick, man, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? You don't take this shit too far. And his response is like this: There's no such place. Darkness. Let's go to the abyss, nigga. <laughs> I'm not with it, man. I don't want to go to the abyss, man. You know what I'm saying? Rick wants to go to the abyss. In fact, he dwells in the abyss. Rick James dwells in the abyss, okay, and he and he wants company. Sometimes, you know, and, and for some reason he likes to reach out for me whenever I'm around. When he, when he wants to go there, he will reach out for me to try what to check, take me to the abyss with him. 
And I'm not with it, man. I'm not with it. And that's when we end up, you know, tussling or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Go, you right. Hashtag K A K A M F L. K A M F L. Keith a motherfucking lie. This nigga done reported that he makes seven bands, nigga. When in actuality, he was making double, more than double that. What was you trying to get? Food stamps? This nigga Keith a motherfucking lo- nigga. Yeah, Tiffany. You didn't know you was fucking with a nigga like this. Now you know. <laughs> now you know, nigga. It was further part of the scheme <coughs> that on or about January 3rd, 2024, Freeman filed a Schedule J in the Freeman bankruptcy case that was false and fraudulent and that the defendant falsely re- represented that his set that his net monthly income was $94.72 when the defendant knew that his net monthly income was substantially in excess of $94. <laughs> hey, nigga, all of you get like $94 a month. Nigga, was you trying to get a Section 8 apartment? This nigga, this nigga, yeah, nigga, I was only making $95. And they was like, this nigga knew he made well more. His monthly income was subs- was substantially in excess of $94.72. <laughs> this nigga can't be this fucking dumb, bro. <laughs> this nigga, yeah, the fans ain't gonna ever find this out. <laughs> All I gotta do is just switch banks, nigga. The fans will never find it. This nigga dubber than all outside, nigga. Oh, brother. It was further part of the scheme. <laughs> That's, bro, I'm getting ready to get a shirt made that says it was further part of the scheme. <laughs> <laughs> it was further part of the scheme. That on or about January 3rd, 2024, Freeman filed a statement of financial affairs in the Freeman bankruptcy case that was fraudulent in that Freeman falsely represented that for the calendar year 2022, his gross income was $45,186 when he knew that his gross income from his employment as both the municipality manager of Thornton Township and the village administrator of the village of Dalton combined with consulting fees for company A was approximately $140,000. This nigga told us he made 40000 We know this nigga made at least 140000 it. <laughs> you going to jail. You going to jail. I, bro, I hope ain't none of y'all dumb enough to lie on y'all taxes like this. I just truly hope y'all not. I hope y'all not, bro. Like, what the fuck is this? Oh, no, Keith, no! Freeman falsely represented that f- that for the calendar year 2023, his gross income was $99,647 when he knew that his gross income from his employment as both the municipality manager or of Thornton Township at, and as the village administrator of the village of Dalton was approximately $195,000. You know, Rick is so wild and has went so far off the, the meter. It's shit that I can't even tell, talk, tell you on TV. I mean, you know, I, for the sake of our friendship, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not even gonna bring it up, but trust me, he's went there. He, he, he has went where it's like, yo, Rick, man, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? You done took this shit too far. And his response is like this. There's no such place. Darkness. Let's go to the abyss, nigga. I'm not with it. I'm not with it, man. I don't want to go to the abyss, man. You know what I'm saying? Rick wants to go to the abyss. In fact, he dwells in the abyss. Rick James dwells in the abyss. 
okay? And he, and he wants company sometimes, you know? And, and for some reason, he likes to reach out for me. Whenever I'm around, when he, when he wants to go there, he will reach out for me to try to take me to the abyss with him. And I'm not with it, man. I'm not with it. And that's when we end up, you know, tussling or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yep. This is exactly why he tried to switch to a 1099. Nigga, you can't lie like this, Keith. Keith uh, Freeman also falsely represented that the only business that Freeman owned was Keith Freeman LLC when Freeman knew that he also owned government staffing advisors. You lied about a whole business, nigga. It was further part of the scheme that Freeman attempted to and did conceal material facts from his creditors and Chapter 7 trustee, including but not limited to the fact that as of the filing of the Freeman bankruptcy case, Freeman was the village administrator of the village of Dalton, earned approximately $100,000 in annual income from his position as the village administrator of the village of Dalton, was the owner of government staffing advisors, controlled a bank account at Coastal Community Bank in the name of Government Staffing Advisors, Inc., into which he deposited his income and which account Freeman used as his personal bank account was an officer of CBPI, a corporation owned by his spouse, nigga, done, with, had within the two prior years received income in the form of consulting fees from company A, and while employed as the village administrator of the village of Robbins, had received approximately $90,396 in excess of his, un- of his authorized salary. You stole 90 bands? And that the village of Robbins had a claim against Freeman related to those funds. It was further part of the scheme that on or about January 30th, 2024, Freeman caused to be submitted to the Chapter 7 trustee a purported copy of his 2020 form 1040 individual income tax return signed under penalty of perjury. When in truth, Freeman had not filed a 2022 form 1040 individual income tax return with the IRS. It was further part of the scheme that the phony, that the phony, <laughs> they called your paperwork phony, nigga. <laughs> you know you going to prison when they use the word phony in your indictment, nigga. It was further part of the scheme that the phony 2022 form. <laughs> 1040 individual income tax return Freeman provided to the chapter seven trustee falsely represented that Freeman's total income from employment was $45,186. When Freeman knew that his income from employment in 2022 substantially exceeded this amount. Say it with me. It was further part of the scheme on or about January 30th, 2024 while testifying under oath at a 341 meeting, Freeman falsely represented that he was not an employee of the village of Dalton. I ain't got it. He just might be the dumbest nigga ever. He just might be. He just might be. I don't even work there. Why you be sitting up there in the meetings and shit next to the mayor? Nigga, that's my nigga. But it says village administrator under your name. Nigga, that's just shit they call me. You get paid for that? This is what I'm saying, Sparky. They use the word phony. And that he did not get paid by Dalton. It was further part of the scheme that on or about February 23rd, 2024, four days before his next scheduled 341 meeting on February 27th, 2024, Freeman caused his pay from the village of Dalton to be directly deposited.
Keith Freeman, I know damn well you did not switch your check over into another account four days before that meeting. I know you weren't dumb. I know you didn't do that. I know. They lying. They lying on you. They lying on you. When they said, see, when this is why I read the whole thing. Because when they said that he had switched his shit over, I didn't think he was so dumb that did it four days before a meeting. Well, they won't know. Well, you going to prison. It was further part of the scheme that Freeman did misrepresent, conceal, and hide, and caused to be misrepresented, concealed, and hidden acts done in furtherance of the scheme and the purposes of those acts. On or about January 3rd, 2024, at Chicago in the Northern District of Illinois' Eastern Division, Chief Douglas Freeman defended hearing for the purpose of executing and concealing the above described scheme and attempted to do so filed and caused to be filed a document, namely schedules and a statement of financial affairs in a proceeding under title 11, namely a chapter seven bankruptcy case and read Keith Douglas Freeman 24 dash 00059 in violation of title 18 United States code section 1572, a true bill. It's over, nigga. It's time to start telling, Keithy. Keithy! It's time for you to start telling, bro. Hey, bring the lieutenant over here. Hey, nah, bring the lieutenant. I want to holler at the sergeant right quick. Nah, bro. Let, nah, tell him to come to the door right quick. Hey, Tiffany, I got one question for you. Just a small one. I promise it's not a big one. Small question. Did you ever let Keith do your taxes? You ever let that nigga do your taxes? I got a feeling he's done your taxes before. Has Keith Freeman ever done Tiffany's taxes, Press? One for yes, two for no.
Keith, this is bad, bro. Let me just show you how bad it is. It really is, Keith. Tactical nuke incoming! Cheryl Keith Freeman is facing a federal charge, but he is not, we're told, by the U.S. Attorney's Office in Chicago in federal custody tonight. But people here at Dalton Village Hall say they haven't seen him either since word of that indictment dropped just a few hours ago. The man responsible for running the day-to-day -day in neighboring South Suburban communities is now under federal indictment. Federal prosecutors say Keith Freeman, the village administrator in both Dalton and Thornton Township, repeatedly lied when he filed for bankruptcy earlier this year. The indictment says it was in part his title and salary in Dalton that was central to Freeman's lies to the feds. Dalton trustees say Freeman's position at Village Hall has been a question for some time. It was a lot of controversy on whether or not he was uh, an employee or if he was contracted. No. They're saying that he didn't list this information, so that's a problem. In the indictment, prosecutors say Keith Freeman, quote, made several false statements and omissions in the document, including knowingly underreporting income from his employment as both the village administrator for Dalton and the municipality manager for Thornton Township. And prosecutors say Freeman lied under oath, claiming, quote, he was not an employee of Dalton and that he did not receive a payment from Dalton. A month later, the indictment says his Dalton paycheck went directly into an undisclosed bank account. And if he can't handle his own business. We back outside. I'm, bro, they, they back outside on you, Keith. How in the world can he handle ours? Freeman has been a close ally of embattled Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Longtime residents and frustrated leaders of Dalton say this federal fraud charge against Administrator Keith Freeman is a relief. You know, we've been waiting for some justice to be served. Hey, man, shout out to Brittany. Shout out to Mr. Stubb. Shout out to Trustee Norwood. Man, hey, run this lap on him. Run this lap on him. Run this lap on him. I talked to Trustee Belcher earlier. I ain't going to tell you what she said. I'm going to just tell you one thing that she mentioned to me. She was talking to me about something about 25 and 0. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to put out there. Oh, I love those glasses. Miss Stubbs, her, her glasses game is undefeated. At the next board meeting, if he show up, I'll ask him to step down again. Damn. Because he's an embarrassment to this community. Damn. We have repeatedly tried to reach Keith Freeman by phone over the past few hours, but all of those calls have gone directly to voicemail. The US <laughs> he turned the phone off, nigga. <laughs> this nigga tried to turn his phone off. That ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Chicago says Freeman will be scheduled for an arraignment before a federal judge at a future date. Watch Britain. As WGN investigates, was first to report today a top aide to Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard has been indicted for bankruptcy fraud. It comes amid ongoing questions about Henyard's spending and leadership. And legal experts say it could be the first sign that the feds are trying to get people to share what they know about potential government corruption in the South Suburbs. Let's be smarter than that. This is, this is not just the price is right. Despite sitting next to Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard at countless meetings, the feds allege Keith Freeman not only failed to report his income from the village, he actively lied about it.
Freeman is Henyard's top aide in both Dalton and Thornton Township. As part of a personal bankruptcy case, he was required to report his earnings. But this indictment on one count of bankruptcy fraud says Freeman falsely stated he only worked for the township and made just over $99,000 last year. Prosecutors say he tried to hide his Dalton earnings via a pass-through company, which brought his income to $195,000 last year. They further allege the village of Robbins has a claim against Freeman for more than $90,000 he took without authorization from a previous post he held as village administrator there. This is long coming. If a person can lie on their... Trustee Brown, what's happening? What's happening, Trustee Brown? Good day, huh? Own financials. What do you think they're doing for the village? Nobody is untouchable. That's what I really, I want to say. Nobody is untouchable. So if this is just uh, the first domino to all of them falling, let it happen. Trustee Belger, what you doing? <laughs> Fuck y'all out here doing, bro? Y'all back outside, man. It was a beautiful day in Dalton, wasn't it? It's a beautiful day in Dalton, wasn't it? My mouth hurt like a motherfucker. I could care less. I'm getting my shit fixed in the morning, Keith. Your problems will not be fixed by 2 o'clock tomorrow. Shout out to my beautiful lady trustees. Trustee Brittany Norwood, Trustee Kiana Belcher, and Trustee Tammy Brown, and former trustee, Miss Valerie Stubbs. Mm. Tiffany. Hello, Van Bradley. How you feeling? Freeman is a key player in our report. Reporting on Tiffany Henyard because of how many roles he plays for her. In addition to the Dalton and Township jobs, Freeman also, for a time, was the registered agent of the Tiffany Henyard Cares Foundation. But there's no foundation in the state of Illinois moving like we move and shaking, moving like we do right thing. That's right. right. While Henyard's namesake charity claims to help cancer patients, WGN Investigates has reported it received most of its early money from taxpayers and has failed to file required paperwork showing how it spends its money. How come you don't respond to my emails? Ah, uh, there you go. There you go. Huh? There you go. That's all you're getting from me. That's all you get from me. Not slick. You are watching When Keeping It Real Goes Wrong. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I'm broke, nigga, I'm broke! Good for me today. How come the charity hasn't filed uh, its financial disclosures about how money was spent? How would I know that? That's a good question, though. For months, WGN invested... <laughs> Why haven't y'all filed? Hey, nigga, that's a good question. Nigga, you the head of it, nigga. How come the charity hasn't filed uh, its financial disclosures about how money was spent? How would I know that? That's a good question, though. <sighs> Unbelievable. Come on, Andrew. This is all the way bad. For months, WGN Investigates has reported on questionable conduct on Henyard's watch, including unexplained travel, including first-class airfare and fine dining on the taxpayer's dime. Credit card statements show Freeman was on many of the trips, including one to Las Vegas, where another Henyard aide now claims a Dalton trustee sexually assaulted her. Others accuse Henyard of using Freeman and other government employees to retaliate against her opponents. Court watchers say the feds could use the bankruptcy charge against Freeman to get him to cooperate in other investigations. Hashtag Shea was right.
When the feds are looking at a larger scheme or relationship, oftentimes what they have to do is go for people who are below or the lower part of the food chain, get them for something, charge them with something, because that's the leverage they need to be able to sit down with that person and say, now, if you help us, life might be good for you. If you don't help us, you're in a lot of trouble. Now, what do you want to do? So I said one down, about 25 more to go. No comment this afternoon from Keith Freeman. His boss, Tiffany Henyard, said through a spokesperson that she's aware of the indictment but won't comment due to the ongoing investigation. That's your smoky ass, smoky turkey tail. So we don't know whether taxpayers will continue paying Freeman's two salaries despite today's bankruptcy fraud charge. Every gangster gotta go sit down. He's choosing to be free, though. As long as they ask him about some shit that he wasn't like all the way that connected with or that Tiffany, her being a part of is worse than him being a part of it. Then yeah, he told him. Tiffany just didn't know that this nigga had all this shit on the side. I'm sure he didn't tell nobody. Of course she knew, because he knew. I saw the nigga in person. He knew this was getting ready to get picked. This shit was about to happen. Because I heard you can't find a lawyer, nigga. Uh-oh. I heard you can't find a lawyer. Is that true? How does this play, Keith? And you lucky, Keith, because I'm not even staying long tonight. My mouth hurt like a motherfucker. And I got to go back in in the morning. But I got to tell you, Keith, this shit all look bad. And we have some new developments on a suburban government that's mired in accusations of scandal. The mayor of Dalton is already under investigation, and there are allegations of misconduct Cougar. surrounding an official trip to Las Vegas. Well, now a top administrator is facing fraud charges. Regina Waldrop explains. Trustee Andrew Holmes? No. Several high-level officials in South yes. Suburban Dalton facing a rush of lawsuits and investigations. Federal prosecutors accuse Keith Freeman of making false statements in his bankruptcy petition. Freeman currently serves as village administrator and as municipality manager of Thornton Township. There has been uh, several times that we have gone back and forth and we have talked about um, being able to get past all of this. The indictment alleges that Freeman made several false statements and omissions in the bankruptcy petition filed in January. It says he knowingly underreported income he derived from his employment as well Look as fees he, he received from his private consulting Look how business. Big he Freeman is. has not been arraigned and the village declined to comment. Hold on, bro. Hold on, give me a moment. We 
gotta get the stairs. There we go. Found one. Look how much smaller that nigga is. Look how droopy his face look. Look how droopy his face look and shit. Stress to do it, bro. The feds, that's a whole nother type of stress you don't even know. I told you, I was right next to the nigga. I was like, this nigga done lost a gang of weight, nigga. Yeah, it's good for late loss, but it's bad for energy. He ain't got no energy. All bad, nigga. Reported income he derived from his employment, as well as fees he received from his private consulting business. Freeman has not been arraigned, and the village declined to comment. This latest legal issue comes days after a civil lawsuit was filed against Mayor Tiffany Henyard and trustee Andrew Holmes, who is a well-known community activist. It was filed by the mayor's former assistant and a Dalton police officer. The lawsuit accuses Holmes of assault and battery and Henyard of retaliation. The incidents allegedly occurred during and after an economic development trip to Las Vegas last May. Having done the motion, we have a second. Days ago, four Dalton side. trustees appointed Lori Lightfoot, Chicago's former mayor and a former federal prosecutor. I'm the captain now as a special investigator to look into the Vegas trip and allegations of misappropriation and misspending by the mayor. But the village attorney in a letter writes, trustees completely lack the authority to appoint Lightfoot as additional legislative counsel. It goes on to say the mayor will not be approving any payments to Lightfoot because her appointment violates the law. Gina Waldrop, NBC5 News. Regina, thank you. This is no bueno, bro. They on your head right now. Pink Book dropped the video like I told you she would. Arm Fisherman dropped the video like I told you he would. Oh, Keith, what you gonna do, bro? You everywhere, bro. Everywhere. A high-ranking administrator for both Dalton and Thornton Township is charged with fraud connected to an alleged bankruptcy scheme. 
The village also completed negotiations with the uh, police patrol, police lieutenants, and the sergeants. Right here you see Keith Freeman, who sits next to and battled Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard, discussing finances as a, at a recent village board meeting. The U.S. attorney accuses Freeman of concealing assets and incomes from his creditors. He faces up to five years in prison if convicted. We reached out to Freeman and various Dalton officials, but have not yet heard back. Breaking news from federal court, a senior administrator for the village of Dalton and Thornton Township has been charged with bankruptcy fraud. Prosecutors say in January, Keith Douglas Freeman filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Oh, According government. to his indictment, he made several false statements, including underreporting his income and not revealing the village of Robbins had filed a claim against him for more than $90,000. A few days ago, civil lawsuit was filed against Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard and Village Trustee Andrew Holmes. Holmes is accused of sexually assaulting a woman who used to work for the mayor. Henyard is accused of retaliation for firing the woman and for removing a police officer from her security detail. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago I. You fuck. You're fuck. So what's up, Tip? How's this next meeting gonna play, girl? How? Yeah, they don't even say Tiffany's whole name like that. Keep Douglas Freeman, nigga. Shit. The feds ain't go to Dalton. What's taking the feds so long? So Tiff, you not worried about this at all? Not even a little bit? Not even a little bit. I would be. Ain't no stopping the Fed. They on the move. Ain't no stopping the Fed. They on the move. Did you see the letter from the, her attorney claiming that the meeting? Ain't nobody scared of Delgado, bro. Keith, I saw this shit like maybe like a few months ago, and I just been waiting to play this. I think now is the perfect time to play this. I've been waiting long enough. Tactical nuke incoming! So many people have sent it to me too, and I've, I've seen this a million times. Well, I won't say a million times, but I've seen it months ago. For those of us who choose to receive Christ, we're redeemed. To be redeemed means we're delivered from sin. With that comes the opportunity to help others receive redemption. This is not specific to evangelism. Sometimes our calling to our God-given duties are tied to our vocation. So what happens when God calls us to a specific vocation and we run from it? My guest today, Keith Freeman, is here to tell you all about it. I'm Claudia Parker, and 5 Minutes of Faith starts now. Hi, I'm Keith Freeman, father, husband, public servant, and entrepreneur, and I'm here on 5 Minutes of Faith with Claudia Parker. Recently, my wife and I, um, we started a few businesses. Um, 
a few retail stores, we had sort of hit some challenges, some financial challenges. And um, I decided to walk away um, from a store that we created together, and I decided to go into an, another direction and start a hedge fund, uh, which was pretty cool because uh, I got to work with one of my friends. I probably got to get out of my wife's way because I was in the store with her all the time, probably bugging the heck out of her. And me and my buddy, we get together, we're like, oh yeah, we're gonna start this hedge fund. We start putting money together. We started filling out all the paperwork. We started talking to banks and Initially, everything was just going great, and we were just like, go, 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 go. We had people that were interested, and then all of a sudden, the brakes just hit. My wife and I, we had put sort of everything that we had into our businesses, and so there wasn't very much left to sort of fall back on and say, hey, listen, um, you know, what are we going to do? Um, we, we had no idea. We had no clue. Um, and I had just coming out, I had just stopped um, working as a public servant. I had worked for years uh, in a few municipalities, and I had even told a bunch of my friends that I would never go back to it, uh, ever. The experience was just way too much. And so I had become like primary daddy daycare. I have a son, he'll be three in a month, and I have a seven-year-old. So trying to manage those two little personalities, um, my daughter and my son, it was just crazy. And one day, I'm sitting in the house, and I had gotten a call from the same person. And he had said, Keith, you gotta come work in this town. And I'm like, I'll never work in that town. Then his wife called, because his wife was the managing attorney for one of the cities. As a matter of fact, a couple of the cities. She was like, Keith, can you just think about it? No, I'm not thinking about it. I was just being stubborn. I was purposely trying to ruin God's purpose for me. And I knew I was. So I got a phone call, not from you know a congressperson, not from another elected official, I got a phone call from uh, a firefighter, and he said, hey, listen, Keith, if you don't mind, uh, can you take like 10 minutes? Just, you know, we can meet wherever you want to, just sit down with me. But something said, if I don't, if I don't pay attention and I don't listen, then I'm gonna keep going this path. So I go meet this guy at his firehouse, and he tells me this incredible story about how God blessed him. You know, um, he was a public servant for years, he did a couple wrong things and it just led him in the wrong direction. But, you know, God is faithful. And he had overcome a zillion obstacles to become mayor of one of the largest municipalities in the South Suburbs of Chicago. Before I left, what he told me was, is that you can try to run away from your purpose, but no matter where you go, God's gonna put you there. And I believe that you are supposed to be a public servant. You're supposed to serve people. You're the person that God put here for those things. Um, and so I still wasn't trying to hear it. I'm being honest with you. I was like, yeah, I'm straight. I hear you. Um, I didn't tell him to kick rocks, but in the car I was thinking kick rocks. I really was. I'm sitting at home the very next day. The very next day, it couldn't have been, you know, like 24, it wasn't even 24 hours. So the next morning, me and my son, again, I'm playing daddy daycare. My son and I, we get down and we pray, and I'm like, God, if whatever you want me to do, like, I'll do it. And like right then, I got a phone call from my new boss, uh, who was really, really dope. Like, I just couldn't mess with God's will. I just couldn't mess with his purpose for my life. He gave me everything I wanted for compensation. He gave me everything I wanted for benefits. And ever since then, um, there has been a roller coaster of great things that have happened to me, my wife, uh, my boss, and has just taken me to different places and opened doors for me that I would never, ever be able to open for myself. So I may be stubborn, but I understand uh, how much God has blessed me and my family, uh, my friends, and I am extremely grateful for everything he's done. Every day now, um, I go through the prayer of Jabez, um, my wife makes me read it, and I believe in purpose. And I believe that God sometimes will not allow for you uh, to avoid your purpose, even if you try to sabotage it yourself. I ain't got shit to say. You said it all. 
You said it all. Oh, discernment zero. <laughs> yeah, discernment zero. Oh, I believe him that that firefighter him told him to do right. And I believe when he said that he got in the car and told him to kick rocks. I don't believe the part where he was like, yeah, but I just transformed from that because the Lord left you down, led you down a road to do a road to do crime to a whole village of people, two villages. Yep, that seems like something God would want you to do. <laughs> Berg, you ain't shit. <laughs> Oh, and, 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 and remember the, the fire, you, you also own this firefighter company that just so happened to get all shit done in Dalton. Mm, mm, mm. Thief, what are you doing? You know, you're going to prison, right? Unless story time, this indictment connects you to like two other crimes too, Keith. I hope you read it carefully. That charity shit next. Shit, I don't know for how much longer, Jack. I'm at a, I'm probably at like a pain level eight and a half right now. Waiting for this other edible to kick in. I, how many milligrams have I taken today? Four hundred. Either four or five. I can't remember. Yeah, I'm just trying to get to a state of pass out. But I'll go back tomorrow and I should be all the way right tomorrow. I better start writing what down. I ain't gonna lie, I'm probably gonna bounce after this blunt. We're gonna see. If the edible don't kick in after this blunt, I'm out. And Keith, I hope you laughing too. I hope you laughing at my toothache. <laughs> I hope you laughing at it, nigga, because I am too. I got a script for some shit, but I ain't gonna get it. I'm trying to just use this ibuprofen and this reefer. Edible and Flower. I was doing good. I'm just, I got a bad wave going right now. That's all. But at least the feds ain't looking for me. At least there ain't no indictments with my whole, at least the news ain't the Shea Hall, the Shea Lewis Hall senior. They ain't saying that shit. But they out here talking about a Keith Douglas Freeman. You look like your middle name is Douglas, nigga.
Because by the time you see me tomorrow, my problems are going to be fixed, Keith. <laughs> That's my word. I may be a little tender. I may even miss tomorrow, Keith. But no, next time you see me, my problems will be over whenever, if it's tomorrow or the day after. Appreciate it, lady. What up, Jew? Chicago, Jew in the building. This nigga Keith in trouble, trouble, bro. Stealing, stealing. Nah, I know what I really want on the shirt. It was further part of the scheme. That's what I want on the shirt. It was further part of the scheme. It was further part of the scheme. <laughs> I was supposed to get two crowns put by uh, two permanent crowns put in. Neither one of them fit. So I had to get temporary ones put back in. But the worst part is I found I gotta get a root canal in the morning. That's why I'm in this that's why like that bothered me so much when they did that. They found out I really need a root canal. And so I was gonna get the root canal today, but by the time they asked me that, my phone already said the nigga been indicted. I was like, I can go home and talk right now. So I took one more day of extreme pain to come. Keith, I'm not playing. I took a whole day of pain just to be able to come do two streams and laugh at you. Oh, no, Caroline. Once I get it done, I'll feel fine. I'll be a little sore, but it ain't going to be what I'm feeling right now. Well, here's the thing, Black. That's I, I technically got one. The other one fucked up, and then he's, like, not there no more. And then the new chick they got, she's the one. So God's plan. It worked out. She's the one. So I'm going to go. Get that shit gutted tomorrow. I'm be to the beat. And you know, I got I got them perkies on deck if it's that bad, but I ain't trying, you know, I'm be trying to I try to keep all them chemicals out of my body. I try to just keep as much natural shit in my body as possible. It's bad enough I drink Pepsi Zero. Get some rest here on. Great to see you. Never was happening. They gonna numb me up nicely. I ain't gonna feel this shit later. So, it ain't like they got extracted. But see, that's the thing. I'll take like four or five edibles and then just try to pass out. So I did earlier. The edibles, by the time I got off the air, the motherfuckers hit me right. I was gone. I was asleep. I kind of watched the Lakers game and then I watched us get our ass beat, basically, and came to work. Me too, Don. That's the worst part is the shot. But once I get through that part, it's, it's pretty much a wrap after that. Good night, Della. And I ain't forgot I was going to hit you. You see what ended up happening. I thought I was going to be laid up returning emails and shit today with my mouth, and then this shit happened. So I just want you to know I ain't forgot. I'm 
I'm gonna be too. I'm gonna be sleep after the root canal. So yeah, I never really had that smoking problem after the shit because like I may. I may, if I do smoke when I come home, but, like, something, like, serious, like, root canal, I probably ain't gonna smoke when I come home, but, like, if I did, it would literally just be that one time before I go to sleep, but that's how I time it. I take, like, a bunch of edibles before I go, and then when I come home, I'll take, like, another one, and then normally I'll crawl in the bed and go to sleep, but then today it wasn't like that. I had to come here. Shit, they know edibles before 24 hours. Shit is a wrap. I've been taking eating edibles all day because I've been in pain. So I'm going to be lit tomorrow. But shit don't hit me like it would. Like if, if you ate the amount of edibles I ate, you would be laid the fuck out. Oh, I appreciate it a lot. I'm a, bro, trust me. I'm chilling tomorrow. Like, like I said, I'll be asleep. So it's hard for me to smoke a blunt in my sleep. I'll be nice and fucked out. Shit, Caroline, ain't nothing like a good 200 before the show. <laughs> All right, how many did I have today? Let's see. Hold on, let me count. I think like 500. I've had like 500 today. So far. Yeah, that seems about right. 500. Well, I'm a mutant. I don't have to pace myself. I just do it. And I know when when they kick in, I can control it. Like, if it feel real good, I won't go to sleep. I'll sit there and just enjoy it and watch some TV. But, like, if I'm in pain and it kicks in, then I can make myself go to sleep. Like, I'm trying to just ride through it now just on the strength of I'm just waiting for shit to kick in. And I should be all right. They ain't never rescheduled before. I always tell them I take weed. That's the only medication I take. That's the only thing I put on the motherfucking thing. Weed. They don't never say shit. Why would they have to reschedule because I'm high? I don't get that. It ain't like I'm the type of high where I can't function and I'm drooling and they can't, like, they trying to get me open my mouth and I can't. I, I ain't high like that. Like, they ain't even going to know I'm high like that. If anything, they don't feel like I'm sleepy. They, I'm not getting gas. I'm just getting, bro, I'm getting a little root canal. They're going to put a little, they're not even going to numb my whole mouth, bro. They're going to numb one side of my mouth, fix that bitch, and I'm going to be done with it. You put butter in your coffee. What the fuck? Mm. 
Man, they was ready to do this shit today. I promise you. I, I had a choice. I could either get my root canal right now or I could come report on Keith Freeman. I chose Keith Freeman. The coffee and the butter be battling like a battle royale. <laughs> that sounds bubbly in the guts. Yeah, kick your cab, but this chick, she knows what she doing because, like, the little shit she did, that shit hurt last time. It, it bro, it, the other side is fine. Like, last time I couldn't eat for like two days. I could eat to, as soon as I came home. It's just this, the bottom right side. Like I said, root canal, get that motherfucker. Nice and done. Put my faith in him. He'll guide her hands. We'll be all right. Better than Keith Freeman. I may not be able to go to sleep because my mouth hurt. He can't go to sleep because his stomach hurt. He going to keep going to go sit on the toilet thing. He got to take a shit and just, nope, he just had to fart one time. Nervous. Russ, what up? Oh, baby, uh, bring to my lamp up. Mm. Oh, baby, yeah. bring the thumbs, Pepto. Uh, uh. Shut up, Keith. You going to prison. That's what you get for fucking that bitch. So, your name in the indictment and you going too. I told y'all that nigga's name was Thief Freeman and y'all laugh. Now that nigga's indicted for being a thief. Hashtag Shay was right. It's almost like your boy could see into the future. What a dumbass, nigga. You're a fucking idiot. I'm going to tell y'all like I said earlier. People keep be like, who's next? Nigga, they running out of people. They started high, nigga. They didn't come out going William Moore and Stacy and Tanjanique and shit. They came out Andrew Holmes, Keith Freeman. It's like Stan Brown. Stan, you about to be next? The Tiffany Henyard trial is going to be epic, nigga. And Keith, you better take this shit to trial. Don't be pleading out. Take that shit to trial, bitch. Take that shit to trial. Don't be listening to the streets, Keith. Take that shit to trial, nigga. Take that shit to motherfucking trial. Yeah, yeah. Take that shit to trial, nigga. All the head Tiffany done gave you and you ain't gonna take that shit to trial. Nigga, you a worthless ass nigga.
This is why you shouldn't be sucking all that dick without a wedding ring. Because you see what done happened. You done gave this nigga all this head, Tiffany, and now this nigga getting ready to just go tell. Just like he ain't, ain't did that. Niggas ain't shit, Tiffany. You know Delgado was mad than a motherfucker he read this indictment. Nigga, you told them you made what? Why would you do this? Nigga, Lacey ain't saying shit at this next meeting. One more outburst. The fuck you say, you fat nigga? Starburst. I was looking for, a, does anybody in the crowd have a starburst? Thank you. Just toss it up here. Um, take the wrapper off because I'm fat and I don't really have time to do that. This next meeting gonna be lit. I can't wait. I'm so hungry and my snack game is trash right now. My snack game is actually on point, Dom, but I can't do nothing with it. I'm about to go make some potatoes, something soft. I'm gonna go make me a bowl of Lacey. Some Lacey O'Brien. Yeah, I'm gonna steam some Lacey's. Season them hoes up. Lacey, them shits are going to be on point. Especially because I got a new Guilty Pleasure YouTube channel. Total Guilty Pleasure, nigga. How I found this channel, I don't know. When I tell you what this channel is even about, you can be like, what the fuck? And nigga, I've been pounding these videos. Hold on, what's the name of the nigga's channel? Space Ice. Have you ever heard of the YouTube channel called Space Ice? One for yes, two for no. Space Ice. This nigga, Space Ice, this on his YouTube channel. This nigga just be sitting here making fun of Steven Seagal movies, nigga. And this nigga be having me in tears. He, he talks in a straight action movie theater trailer voice making fun of Steven Seagal. Hold on, let me show y'all this shit, nigga. The shit be having me in tears with the voice and the shit this niggas be saying, nigga. The shit this nigga be saying. Nigga, I don't know how I found this shit, but this shit be having me in tears, especially with this nigga's voice. Half Past Dead is the Steven Seagal mega blockbuster hit movie where he showed the world everything stupid and nothing matters. That's right. It starts off with Ja Rule watching the title float around the screen, which makes him realize turning down the Fast and the Furious franchise for this is the dumbest shit he's ever done. <laughs> but this old man is wise and tells him there's 89 minutes of Seagal movie left. They'll break that record five or six more times. They get right to it when Seagal lives in a lighthouse or some shit and they kick the door in while he's in the middle of his favorite show. But don't worry, it's just his PO here to administer a court-ordered random lie detector test. A polygraph. They ask him about his past. Yeah, I'm Russian. Sometimes, you know, I work for the CIA, US Marshals. 
that was easy. Now the hard part is getting him to tell the truth about anything for a baseline. I love the f*** out of cookies. Oh, thank God. If they... <laughs> Nigga, I've been sitting here. This nigga's done. Nigga, I've been pounding these videos, bro. He's done one like damn near every Steven Skull movie, bro. And he just be fucking roasting Steven Skull, man. These fucking movies be having me. This should be having me in tears, nigga. I don't know how I found this shit, nigga, but I ain't gonna hold you. I've been sitting around with my wife watching these, belly laughing, nigga. He had to spend another minute in here smelling three-day-old hot dogs and dried ketchup. They were going to fucking vomit. Anyways, that has nothing to do with the rest of the movie. And now they're stealing flying cars. <laughs> Bang! They truly are the fat and the furious. <laughs> While that's happening, Seagal tries to help Ja Rule sound more black. Is I? I. 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 But he needs a lot of work, which is something Seagal will never do. <laughs> yeah, that's tough for me. So he gets out of it the Seagal way by murdering the f out of him as stupidly as possible. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I'm done, bro. <laughs> nigga, I'm, <laughs> nigga, I saw this movie too, nigga. John, I mean, he just, John Rule just got up like nothing happened. Nigga. For me. So he gets out of it the Seagal way by murdering the f out of him as stupidly as possible. <laughs> But he gets up like that's just normal shit. I'm right back to work. And the old man lets him know that's one. That They're interrupted <laughs> by the FBI. I'm with the FBI. Have you heard of us? Yeah, I've heard of I'm pretty sure that was rhetorical, but she wants him to snitch. I'll cut your sweet deal. Which is definitely something you want to talk about in front of all the people he'd be snitching on. <laughs> Keep free with cutting a deal with the next meet, nigga. <laughs> Mayor, I like to make a motion. I'd like to cut a deal with the Federal Bureau of, Bureau of Investigation. Uh, I would like to cut that deal right now. Um, we do have an agent, special agent right there in the, in the gallery. Space Ice. This nigga be roasting these Steven Seagal movies, nigga. And I'll be over here in tears. <laughs> he got big balls. I don't think she does, so he comes up with something better. I don't talk to pigs without my lawyer. Nice try, but she's on another level. I'm a lawyer. You want my advice? Put the guns down. Son of a bitch, that legal advice is gonna cost like a hundred bucks. Then we get one of the shootouts of all time, where everyone involved uses the highly advanced spray and pray method. <laughs> the highly advanced. Having no regard for where bullets go is Seagal's thing. So he reaches into his bag of tricks and blows everyone away with a run waddle into an unnecessary shoulder roll that hits the sweet spot of impossible to be him, but too embarrassing to be his body double, which keeps his fan guessing. <laughs> But, oh man, just watching that gives him sympathy exertion, which causes him to collapse and die of a heart attack. <laughs> if you need proof that there's no God in Seagal movies, besides the fact that there are Seagal movies, we get this. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga Seagal gonna die and just come back from the dead. This nigga just be making shit up in movies, nigga. 
This nigga just be making shit up, nigga. He just literally just makes it up on the fly, nigga. The fact that there are Seagal movies, we get this. Motherfucker. <laughs> and don't think we forgot about whatever that shit was. That's two. <laughs> now it's eight months later, and Seagal's in prison for this embarrassing shit. When he just happens to run into his boy. How you been, man? Who's not only there for whatever this was about. Cut your sweet deal. Witness protection, no time served. But also many counts of attempted murder on FBI agents. I know five years in this little rat hole here. Which might not sound like a lot, <laughs> but this is Santa. Hey, Keith Freeman, how many years you about to get? Also many counts of attempted murder on FBI agents. I know five years in this little rat hole here. Yep. You facing a maximum of five years in that rat hole there. Which might not sound like a lot, but this is San Francisco, and that's like eight of their life sentences. I see you on the inside, man. After Seagal's failed lap band sets off the metal detector. I'm getting ready to log off. <laughs> That nigga said his lap band set off the, the metal detector. I'm done, bro. <laughs> he said he got a failed lap band and it set off the metal detector. Nigga, I'm done, bro. You ain't shit for that, nigga. <laughs> a failed lap band, nigga. Hey, man, shout out to Space Ice, man. That nigga's a fool. But this is San Francisco, and that's like eight of their life sentences. I see you on the inside, man. After Seagal's failed lap band sets off <laughs> the metal detector, this guard follows standard. Hey, nigga, when I saw the one where he called that nigga Thick Tracy. <laughs> Pause. He called that nigga Thick Tracy, and I was done, nigga. I, nigga, I was over here in tears, nigga. He called that nigga Thick Tracy. <laughs> hey, man, shout out to Space Ice. That nigga's hilarious, bro. Procedure by using his cattle prod for its intended purpose. But Ja Rule ain't about that farm life. <laughs> While he does get his ass handed to him, he saves it with. They beat the shit out of. They beat the shit out of that nigga, bro. <laughs> they beat Ja Rule's ass, nigga. Bull ain't about that farm life. Well, he does get his ass handed to him. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he tells John ja Rule there I like some fucking laundry. <laughs> Saves it with this sick burn. Kids hit harder than that. Hell <laughs> nigga, he threw you through a fucking metal bookcase. <laughs> Ain't no kid ever hit that hard in life, nigga. <laughs> nigga, ain't no kid ever hit a motherfucker. He did a 720 somersault, nigga. Yeah, kids beat his ass way worse than that. Like, <laughs> yeah, all like the what time. the fuck? <laughs> That's three, and we're not even 20 minutes in. Oh, <laughs> Oh, shit. Then this naughty bitch goes off script and tries to sneak a fact into a Seagal movie. Robert Kennedy closed Alcatraz in 1963. How do you respond to these allegations? But thanks to his quick thinking, we're misinformed again. Actually, Bobby closed it in June of 62. And she's immediately executed. But nobody's here to watch a stupid press conference. We're here to watch Seagal waddle strut like a fucking boss. Whoa, now sir. he's living the life, enjoying his sitting time until he's interrupted. Get up. Someone wants to see you. Because this stupid old f wants to talk about his whole dying thing. Thought we could play some cards and talk about that. 
look, this is barely going to be in theaters, then straight to the bargain bin where you can just watch that sh directly. I'm a man with 50 minutes to live. Trust me, that's plenty of time. So while Seagal's <laughs> feeding him a load of bullshit. Do not work for the CIA. The prison is attacked by this lady. Who comes in like she's fucking Sting. <laughs> only she's wearing a lot more makeup. <laughs> she came in like Sting but got on more makeup, nigga. This nigga's outrageous. After she clears the way, these goobers follow right behind, and I'm pretty sure this guy's tangled up in the rope, which pisses her off because she was looking so cool, and you fucking blew it. Anyways, back to Seagal and the old man putting their clothes back on for the reasons fuck? I refuse to get into. The fuck? But I think God will forgive you. Are y'all niggas gay? Man, I am not gay. I have relationships with women and sex with men. And I got news for you. That means you're gay. Now that that shit's over with, it's time to waddle back when they run into these guys who light them both the fuck up. <laughs> Too bad for them, they didn't even notice one of the dead bodies was crying and Seagal was only pretending to be dead. But that's not on them because a lifeless clump of mass is the role he was born for. <laughs> Now she gets crazy when they bust in on Professor X <laughs> while he's connected to Cerebro. <laughs> and at the same time, a fucking helicopter crashes into the prison. <laughs> then they're pretty sure there was a beanbag chair here earlier and head off to investigate. They were pretty sure it was a beanbag chair here earlier. <laughs> This guy manages to catch up with the beanbag, who reacts like his mom just walked in on him doing some sick shit. But they don't call him Hated Copperfield for nothing as he just fucking disappears. So he makes his best guess that Seagal's up in the air somewhere. But it turns out Seagal was on the ground the entire time. Then he shows his versatility by going from ham fist to limp wrist and knocks him the f out of state. <laughs> we check back in with Ja Rule, who's playing basketball on a sideways court that has two dead bodies on it while under a helicopter that's raining down sparks. That's four. <laughs> Seagal runs into Eyeshadow Lady, and they have a standoff that Seagal's in complete control of, since he can easily sissy slap away however <laughs> many of the 800 rounds per minute she foolishly fires at him. 11.37. Just then, Ja Rule shows up to help Seagal by distracting Seagal. Bust a size! That one doesn't count because it's a gall's fault for never learning how to hold a gun. <laughs> but luckily for Seagal, she's also a fucking idiot. And instead of just shooting him in the face, she has to do this shit. And I really don't see how that helps. What the then fuck? we immediately get another standoff, but this time they crank the stupid up a notch when Dwayne Elizondo Mountain Dew Herbert Camacho, who has really let himself go, and this other guy decide this is a nigga that's corrupt, nigga. A great fucking place to stand. You fucking idiots. After an intense back and forth in this prison made up of pure drywall, Job <laughs> Rule gets the drop on her and easily takes her out. Calm down, not yet. Why don't we put the guns down? Yeah, right, lady. Nice try. You first. You fucking idiots. That's five. <laughs> <laughs> then we find out, on top of men and children as weaknesses, Kids hit harder than that. you can also add women to that list. 
shit. <laughs> this nigga Ja Rule got his ass whooped in every scene of the movie, nigga. <laughs> this nigga went. Ja Rule gave up Fast and Furious franchise to go beat in this shit with fucking Steven Seagal getting his ass whooped the whole movie. Embarrasses him so badly Damn. that she ends up going full Neo. <laughs> The humiliation only stops Damn. after Seagal. <laughs> nah, get the strap, nigga. Nah, we got to shoot her, nigga. No, nigga. Get the motherfucking strap. Hey, somebody go get the, go get the Mac 11 off the dresser, nigga. We, we got to do something to her, nigga. She, nah, Ja. No. No, we got to, nah, we got to shoot her, nigga. Go get the Mac 11. Going full Neo. <laughs> <laughs> the humiliation only stops. Nah, nigga, we gonna kill her. <laughs> nah, nigga, John, we gonna kill her. <laughs> nah, nigga, nah, nigga, we gonna kill her. <laughs> we not, we not, <laughs> we. <laughs> we not going for this. We. We not going, man. We are not going. <laughs> yeah, John, we gonna shoot the shit out of her. Don't even worry. After Seagal finally finds the elevator and runs in blasting Barney Fife style, which <laughs> makes her laugh so hard, she has to get the f*** out. Then Ja Rule shows something you never see in Seagal movies, self-awareness. We got issues. Yeah, you're both a f mess but Seagal's personality disorder is too strong for that so we're treated to him flopping up a rope hilariously then we get the shocking twist that Seagal is undercover you got a man in deep cover out there if you're wondering what kind of secret mission involves dying and spending years in prison then tough sh because it's so top secret, not even the audience is allowed to know. This is heavy, Sasha. <laughs> being heavy is what he does best. I'll be in touch. No time for that anyways, because they found a prison rocket launcher what? just lying around and shoot it realistically. <laughs> which is crucial to the movie, so the audience knows it f***ing hates them. And it's fuck? given up even pretending to be coherent when they all arm themselves with prison machine guns. Except for them who go for handguns because being able to carry concealed is really f***ing important right now. <laughs> then, in a move that's classic Seagal, he rips off Die Hard <laughs> and saves the day. Just kidding, he f***s it all up and accomplishes nothing. <laughs> now, the chase is on and they're quickly closing ground on a sprinting Seagal when they decide that this room is so massive that splitting up is the smart move. While this guy is confused on why a boiler room is now a factory, Seagal seizes the opportunity and throws him repeatedly without making a single sound, which would alert what's his name. Instead, they decide to do this the honorable way, American Gladiator style. Yeah. Seagal puts the tensile strength of these chains to the test and shows the world he's still the master of the Peter Pan silly slap. <laughs> but the movie's not letting us off that easy, so we get another standoff. Make your move. Only everyone but Seagal knows his gun is empty. Are you sure? Yes. It's a misfire. Oh, fuck you. This <laughs> shit thankfully ends when Ja Rule saves the day by shooting the dead guy. That's six. I'm done, nigga. I, ja Rule, why are you in this fucking movie, nigga? You are the worst nigga ever, nigga. And yes, that's six. So he gets away. And Ja Rule shows us another Seagal movie no-no. 
shame. But don't worry, because we get another fucking standoff. Another that one. ends when these two decide they can fly now and open fire for no reason. That level of senseless stupidity is just the rush Seagal <laughs> needs to bust out his new move where he shoots two guns at the same time <laughs> while laser focusing his eyes where neither are actually firing. He only manages to hit his own guy which he views as a massive success. Then, something nobody could ever <laughs> see coming happens, and this very stable helicopter crashes again. <laughs> Luckily, Seagal realized what was about to happen, and they both got out safely. Get out of there, just kidding, Seagal grabs both lines just to be what safe, and Ja Rule dies. I'm done. <laughs> nice night to die. So they get a different helicopter and track him down. Say goodbye! Seagal has no idea who the fuck that is, but he sure as shit ain't going after her and just <laughs> wanted to look him in the eye as he blows the fuck up. Get the clock. That should be the end, but it's a Seagal movie, so you know that can't happen without finding out what young hottie, half his age, he ends up banging. You better not be playing me, man. How fast can you get out of those clothes? That's seven. Red line for that red Nigga, I'll be watching these motherfuckers die. The commentary with the level of over-the-top shit that Steven Seagal be on in the movies, nigga, I can't do nothing but laugh. Should be funny to me. Ja Rule got his ass whooped the whole movie. <clears throat> ja Rule got, got his ass whooped the whole movie. <clears throat> when I saw the one when he called that nigga Thick Tracy, I was done. I was done. Shout out to shout out to uh, Space Ice. I love over the top action movies, but that's why I like watching them. Like I watch them, not like I watch them to laugh at that shit. They be kind of like comedies to me. Like I like Half Pass, and that's what I like about it. It's just so over the top ridiculous. Then Keith Freeman gonna be with them niggas in part two. Keith Freeman gonna be on the block giving motherfucker financial advice. When he did that barrel run, the barrel roll and the waddle run, too much for me. Yeah, I'm going to watch a couple when I get over here. I ain't going to hold you. Told you, this is my new guilty pleasure watching this nigga roast cigar movies, nigga. That's what I love about YouTube. Damn near anything you could think of is on YouTube. And it's, a, it's something that you would never thought of, but it ends up being the greatest shit ever. Shit, don't thank me. Thanks, Space Ice, bro. <laughs> Him using that uh, action movie trailer voice is too much for me. It, I have to be in a mood. Like, it, it ain't nothing like I got to go search it out. But, like, like Machete. Have you ever seen Machete? Machete. Nigga, that shit was so over the top and funny. And then they had big name actors in that motherfucker. They had like, Robert De Niro and that motherfucker shit. That shit was hilarious. I'm going to have to check that out too, babe. Right on. Exactly. Exactly, Black. Smoke a couple blunts on a Friday night, eating some food, and just laughing at some, a goofy movie like that or some shit like that or one of them reviews like that. 
Keith, hey, you might want to fuck with it, Keith, because I don't know how much access you're going to have to phones and shit in prison. You ain't really got no money. You only made 45000 last year. This nigga tried to steal from the village and the feds. Like, you can't do both. Y'all ready? I forgot who sent this to me. If you in the chat, go ahead and shout yourself out. But if not, I'll shout you tomorrow. Practical nuke incoming! Y'all ain't even ready. They are not even ready, my nigga. What are these, you may ask? These are smoked turkey tails. You know, Rick is so wild and has went so far off the, the meter. It's shit that I can't even tell, talk, tell you on TV. I mean, you know, like, for the sake of our friendship, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not even going to bring it up. But trust me, he's went there. He, he, he has went where it's like, yo, Rick, man, what the fuck is wrong with you? Man, you done took this shit too far. And his response is like this. There's no such players. Darkness. Let's go to the abyss, nigga. <laughs> I'm not with it, man. I don't want to go to the abyss, man. You know what I'm saying? Rick wants to go to the abyss. In fact, he dwells in the abyss. Rick James dwells in the abyss, okay? And he and he wants company. Sometimes, you know, and, and for some reason, he likes to reach out for me. Whenever I'm around, when he, when he wants to go there, he will reach out for me to try to take, take me to the abyss with him. And I'm not with it, man. I'm not with it. And that's when we end up, you know, tussling or whatever. You know what I'm saying? What I believe to be a great addition to any carnivore meal carbs, 20 grams of fat, 20 grams of protein, 277 calories. Just look at that. Fatty, juicy deliciousness, and they're just so good. You're watching When Keeping It Real Goes Wrong. Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. I would have been swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing? They do have bones, so you have to remove those. They also have a little bone or gristle where their wings were. You could just pull those right out. And this is the golden glory juice that you can render from these wonderful things. Ah, so I'm just labeling up some jars and I I'm losing my motherfucking mind, man. I've rendered bacon and turkey fat and turkey as you. Delicious. You guys got to give these a try. Now, if you want to go renegade, go renegade, bitch. Bitch, your face don't even say yum.
you had to put the caption yum because your face don't say yum. Your face say, I'm broke, nigga, I'm broke. Mmm, yum. Oh, she gonna be long winded all through the house, nigga. That house about to be musty. She about it's about to be a fog in the house. It just seems like. Yeah, she long-winded all through the house, nigga. It just sounds like if you eat smoked turkey tail, you, the house is going to stink. Somebody let her know we free now. If y'all get a chance, let her know we free now. We free now. She out here like Norbert eating turkey ass. Norbit. Where's she buy them? Nigga, this was left over from Thanksgiving. Don't throw that away. That's ass. We eat the ass around here. Why you leaving? Y'all eat ass around here. I don't give a fuck if it's human or another species, nigga. Ass is being ate around here, so I'm leaving. Ass eat motherfuckers. These niggas gonna offer me a plate of ass and ask me why I'm leaving. I've never been so disrespected in my life. Linda, shut the fuck up and eat this plate of ass. What you asked for it for? You shouldn't have asked for it. Eat that ass and shut the fuck up. All of it. Come over my house wasting ass. You should have never, you should have never accepted this plate of ass. You accepted it. Eat the ass and shut the fuck up. Anybody else got a problem with they plate of ass? We don't want to hear it. Eat that ass and shut the fuck up. You ass eat motherfuckers. Massa normally just throw the ass away, but he gave it to us tonight. So you eating the ass. As good as Massa been to us. Oh, you want to know what's up? Oh, I'll tell you what's up. What are these, you may ask? These are smoked turkey tails.
because I because I play college ball. I am a Division One basketball player. You're not you're not talking basketball with me. That didn't go well. She belongs to the streets. If your bitch make this for you, get her out now. What I believe to be a great addition to any carnivore meal. Low carbs, 20 grams of fat, 20 grams of protein, 277 calories. Just look at that. Fatty, juicy deliciousness in there. You are watching When Keeping It Real Goes Wrong. Just so good. They do have bones, so you have to remove those. They also have a little bone or gristle where. Oh no! This is outrageous. Your cholesterol is not right. Your blood work all out of whack. Bitch, what's wrong with you? Yo, your blood work fucked up. I was eating smoked turkey tails. Bitch, what? <laughs> Black people, sometimes y'all make me so upset, bro. Where the wings were, you could just pull those right out. And this is the golden glory juice that you can render from these. Golden glory juice. Pause. Wonderful things. Uh, so I'm just labeling up some jars and I've rendered bacon and turkey fat and turkey as you. Delicious. You guys got to give these a try. Pause. That's your smoking ass, smoking turkey tails. I just said, I love soul food. I do. This ain't it. Y'all niggas still eating like slaves in 2024 is wild to me. That that's wild to me. She's sitting around humming Negro spirituals, eating smoked turkey tail. What the fuck is going on? We've got to look better as black people. And these ain't the same as Tiffany's. Tiffany got smoky turkey tails. Those were smoke. Tiffany got smoky. All night long, Kiki. Bubble guts. And you say that bubble gut juice and jar it up. So you can give yourself bubble guts with anything you eat.
Disgusting. But at least she ain't getting ready to go to the feds. I know, Keith. You like, why do I keep bringing it back to that? That's what it is right now, bro. Your turn. It's your turn, nigga. I don't know. Somebody said this to me. I'm going to let you know who tomorrow. I saw this. I said, man, you are a fucking fool. And the person that made this got like 50 subscribers. She didn't even show us how to make them. I thought I'd at least get a crash course. Nope. <laughs> mm -mm. Nah. Nah, G. Man, Shay ain't been on his email today. Shay did a show, went to sleep, did a show. I ain't gonna lie, when I get off here, I ain't gonna be on my phone at all. I'm gonna lay in pain until I pass out. But this should be my last night of pain. I've been dealing with tooth pain for probably about a month. But today was the most exacerbated, but tomorrow it gets fixed. Last bit of fixing my teeth from being homeless. I'm excited. I'm pretty excited. I'm in pain, but I'm excited. It's come down a little bit. What the fuck she go do with that glow gold of glory juice though? I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. I want to know what Tiffany go do, though. Her nigga just got popped, bro. Her nigga just got popped. This is all bad for her. Them niggas been on the phone all day. I don't know. They might be annoyed and be in person. Tiffany probably has some meat, bro. I... Do you think that Tiffany at least discussed the possibilities of if we can trust Keith? One for yes, two for no. Now, I don't know what the results of said meeting are, but I, I guarantee you a discussion has been had. Like, is, what the fuck is Keith about to do? Is he going to... I'm sure she's asked, called and asked the nigga, hey, what's up? What you going to be on? This is crazy, bro. I just said this last night, and they came the next day.
Keith, you got to really tell about that charity or that's going to be, that's going to be a dime. You got to tell everything about that charity, whose idea it was, everything. Because I got a feeling the charity wasn't his idea. It, bro, it probably was both their idea. I mean, we probably going to find out a lot of this shit was just both of them doing it. Because this is the first time that Keith Freeman, in my opinion, has exposed himself to be just as dumb as Tiffany. Like, I definitely thought he was the, supposed to be the brains of the operation. He's dumber than Tiffany or just as dumb. Any nigga that's supposed to be the administrator lying on your his taxes by like a hundred thousand dollars, that's wild. <clears throat> and, then, and then when you find out that how he tried to hide it was switching bank accounts four days before a meeting is even more wild. Because, again, this shocked Tiffany. This shocked Tiffany. She's like, what the fuck? You done got caught up in some other shit when we got all this shit going on? Hey, Keith, what size wire you wear? You need a large, extra large, extra large wire. Let's get Keith fit, fitted for a wire. CMB is crumbling, bitch. There ain't much you can do about it. Throwing that nigga under the bus, Don. When she said, when I heard it months ago, I was like, man, she talking about Keith, bro. Told you, everybody been angling towards Keith and who's the first indictment to come out? Because everybody else knew it was Keith. That's why they slowly trying to throw everything on this nigga. But then gonna be sitting there with Keith. Yeah, nigga, stay solid. Well, Black, they did tell her. She just don't listen. That's the thing. She will not listen. Yeah, what God were they praying to? Name. That's a great question. Yeah, my God ain't vouching for that. So I'm like. Keefe, you in trouble because trustees came out and took a lap on your bitch ass today. Jason House was mighty quiet today. I ain't even reach out to him. Let's see what Jason Rock today. <laughs> I would reach out to Tiffany Henry, but she might try to have me arrested. Uh-uh, you can't ask me for comment. You not official media. Bitch, are you going to prison too? Y'all fucked up, bro. I need y'all to understand that y'all fucked up. 
This is a big one, Tiffany. This is the one. This bro, you got a sex charge and this type of charge in your organization, bro. I don't see how she gets out of this. Well, yeah, exactly, Kent. But here's the best part. I could even go for that if everybody else had nobody had on anything. For the record, nothing. I actually had more identification on than they did. I had on LNC hat with an LNC bag. They didn't even have that type of shit. Steve Freeman on camera violate my rights a week before the feds pick him up. Bro, you can't make that up for me. Shit, they ain't gave me no antibiotics yet. I ain't, I ain't have nothing done. Like, again, it was just a. I was just having two little permanent crowns put in. They didn't fit, so they fitted some new per, uh, uh, temporary ones. But right where they was putting in one of the temporary ones, they noticed that you need a root canal right there. Because it's a new dentist, and she's better than that other nigga that was trash. And so, like I said, I bullshit you not. She was like, I can do it right now if you want. I looked at my phone. I saw Keith Freeman had just been indicted like 17 minutes, or maybe it was 24 minutes ago. It wasn't even half an hour. I know that. And uh, I came home and did that and said, I'll be back tomorrow. I think I'm gonna watch New Jack City. I'm gonna watch I'm gonna watch some space ice in New Jack City. I do got some soup I'm gonna eat. I'm hungry than a bitch. Can't eat shit. It's not worth like trying to eat with one side of your mouth is the worst shit ever. Damn, Fez, why couldn't y'all did this right before I came? <laughs> I definitely wouldn't have got fucked with then. You know what public comments are going to be, Tiffany? Step down, step down, step down. Tell your whole team to step down and you step down. Kendra, what's happening? Keith, you might as well just turn yourself in tomorrow and get it over with, to be honest with you. They won't keep the tell. He try he trying to figure out who he can fuck with before he turn himself in. Who he telling on. Forty-five seconds, Tanya. We gotta get through this. I'm telling you, she love, bro. She wants y'all to show up so she can cancel. Oh yeah, we canceling this. Nah, we gotta follow the Open Meetings Act. Yep, cancel. We'll see you niggas next week, and then she just ain't gonna show up. And the next park meeting, I'll be at. Lord, say the same. So make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all hit them donation links because we are demonetized. So all funds go towards that. You can see we already been once and kept our word. So support the cause.
If the feds call Tiffany tomorrow, Tiffany gonna say, I am nothing to do with nothing he was doing. The moment the feds say, well, he said she telling on that nigga everything. She gonna do the initial resistance where she ain't gonna really tell on him, but she gonna be like, nigga, I ain't nothing to do with none of that shit. The moment the feds are like, well, he told us that you, she telling everything. Everything. Damn, Tiff, how the hell, how'd it go down like this? I don't know. But shit. Living just enough for the city I'm living just enough. Oh. you going to prison. In the New Jack City. Nigga, nigga, bro, when when Tiffany go to prison, it's going to be like when Tasha went to prison on power. They're going to show them taking them lashes off, that weave out. Go ball-headed ass in there. <laughs> she evil, so she got to be ball-headed. She'll ball-headed ass in there. Just the fuck up. Close cell 38. <laughs> Bitch. Tiffany, I'm going to put some money on your books. I'm definitely going to put some money on that phone. You have a call from the Illinois State Correctional Facility from Mayor Henyard, yo boo. We drew us up to charges. Yeah. Thank you for using Secures. Hey, boo. What's up? You miss me? Hell no. <laughs> Look, bitch, I only put $25 on this phone. I ain't even gonna hold you, like. Like, you not getting out for, like, at least seven, eight years. Like, we'll see what the pussy talking about then. You know what I mean? So, look, I'm only putting $25 on this phone for your entire stint. So, uh, be using these phone calls wisely. You got seven years with $25 on this phone. So don't be burning this shit up all at once. You have 60 seconds remaining. Where's Keith at? Shit, that nigga at home. Nigga, he told on you and Andrew. You ain't let me you ain't let me fuck when you was on the outside. No way, bitch. Don't try to call me now, ho. When I try to get the pussy from you, now you, oh, I would, but I can't. Nah, get the fuck off my phone, ho. Call one of the mother sucker ass niggas. I already did. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Black. When I said he was telling on Andrew, you assumed it was about the one chick in Vegas. That's all I'll say. 
I said he told, you assume he told about one chick in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, that's not what I was talking about. New Jack City is the most unrealistic gangster movie in the history of gangster movies. Keith Freeman might know some other bodies. Keith Freeman might know another body or two. You never know. But for now, I'm getting the fuck up out of here. I'm going to go get my mouth fixed tomorrow. Then we back in the trap. But if something breaking happens, like, obviously, nigga, I'll be here. Oh, boy. Oh, my nigga, Tiffany just got indicted. Nigga, let you get indicted, Tiffany. I'll be here slobbering all over this municipality hoodie, nigga. But say goodnight to your boy. The motherfucking goat. What's wrong with Angela? Don, we gonna get better, right? Kiki, Miss Whitlock. Miss look, Miss Whitlock. That's why they coming to him with the one shit they got on him that nobody else is involved in. That's why they came to him with this first. Like, look, we got you on this. This ain't got nothing to do with Tiffany. Nobody else. We got you on this. Now, if you got something on Tiffany, maybe just go away. Sparky, Lennox, Klee, Vape, Black, Jack, Kiki. Love you back. We going to make it big. We going to make it. Keith, I don't know about you, cuz. You in trouble, nigga. You in trouble, nigga. You in trouble. Diggity. I'm gonna do that. You do the same. Kent. I love y'all, devil. I'm gonna go get some soup. And I'm gonna watch some Space Ice. Shout out to Space Ice. Shout out to all the YouTubers, bro. Everybody hit a lap today, so I'm proud of y'all. Shout out to all the YouTubers that hit that lap today. Fuck Keith Freeman, bro. Punk ass nigga. Told you, this shit was bigger than Nino Brown. Always has been. Always will be, nigga. God is amazing. I'll see y'all here in a couple of hours. This is un motherfucking real. Cheryl Keith Freeman is facing a federal charge, but he is not, we're told, by the U.S. Attorney's Office in Chicago in federal custody tonight. But people here at Dalton Village Hall say they haven't seen him either since word of that indictment dropped just a few hours ago. The man responsible for running the day-to-day -day in neighboring South Suburban communities is now under federal indictment. Federal prosecutors say Keith Freeman, the village administrator in both Dalton and Thornton Township, repeatedly lied when he filed for bankruptcy earlier this year. The indictment says it was in part his title and salary in Dalton that was central to Freeman's lies to the feds. Dalton trustees say Freeman's position at Village Hall has been a question for some time. It was a lot of controversy on whether or not he was uh, an employee or if he was contracted. Now they're saying that he didn't list this information, so that's a problem. In the indictment, prosecutors say Keith Freeman, quote, made several false statements and omissions in the document, including knowingly underreporting income from his employment as both the village administrator for Dalton and the municipality manager for Thornton Township. And prosecutors say Freeman lied under oath, claiming, quote, he was not an employee of Dalton and that he did not receive a payment from Dalton. A month later, the indictment says his Dalton paycheck went directly into an undisclosed bank account. And if he can't handle his own own business. How in the world can he handle ours? Freeman has been a close ally of embattled Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Longtime residents and frustrated leaders of Dalton say this federal fraud charge against Administrator Keith Freeman is a relief. You know, we've been waiting for some justice to be served. At the next board meeting, if he show up, I'll ask him to step down again because he's an embarrassment to this community. 
We have repeatedly tried to reach Keith Freeman by phone over the past few hours, but all of those calls have gone directly to voicemail. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Chicago says Freeman will be scheduled for an arraignment before a federal judge at a future date. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News. Keith, whether you answer the phone or not, nigga, it's over. Yo, what's going on, boys? How are you? Yo, dab me up. Hey, all right, damn. What part of the city are you from? Yo, what's up? You're there, brother. Hey, yeah. What's up? Yeah. Right. You guys good. ready for this? Take this. Oh, all right, sick. Uh, why don't you guys come inside? Don't scare me. These are the guys. I'm Octavius Gray, and I'm Steve. Had to break the Mini Cooper out tonight. Set them all right. These are facts, Miss Wilbach. If you are, baby, I'm looking so fly. Sunset rooftop, yeah, that's nice, right? In the G class, I know you need that Heart racing fast like the speed of light Is this attraction? Or is it the moonlight? You want satisfaction But only for one night This could be real love But you've been broken And I just want you to see What I can be for you I can't get crazy my damn too. What I could be for you. You've got me wrapped up in your love. Finding you is like a treasure. Barely. Damn, buddy. Making my heart feel this way, yeah, yeah. And I'll treat you so damn special. What you did, who you Oh, I got you. Yeah, you know I stay you. by your side. Never leave you dissatisfied. But I need you to let me know. Oh, oh, oh. Is this attraction? Right, or is it the moonlight? You want satisfaction? But only for one night. This could be real love, but you've been broken. And I just want you to see. Good night, J-Rock. What I can be for you. Thank God you ain't under indictment. To all those that apply. What I can be for you. What I can be for you. What I can be for you. Good night, Carla. Crushed it. If you, God is great. If you didn't learn anything else from this stream, don't commit federal crime when you're a public official. You fucking idiot.